Breaking right now, fire underway inside a warehouse in Hamilton. We've been following this story all morning long. It's just devastating yep. over there. Breaking right now, Kentucky officials say human remains have been found near Lexington and they've made an arrest. Breaking right now, the missing three-year-old toddler from Springfield Township has been found safe. We're talking about Janila Turner. And this press conference was slated for 10 o'clock, so it was five minutes Folks ago. Looks like they're getting ready, getting moving here. But the focus today, Frank, is reducing the gun violence that we've seen here in the city of Cincinnati. I've been mentioning this because the numbers speak for themselves. You know, so far this year, 173 shootings, one of those this morning in East Price Hill, and we've had so far 15 shootings for the month of July alone. And we're only, I, what, two weeks into July? If you want to see a speeder, just watch Frank leave work. Yeah, that is true. Or <laughs> drive into work. Uh, we're going to go out uh, to the track. You're, on that note, we're yeah. going to go uh, head over to Lauren Miner. I haven't got live. a ticket since I was 25. All right, fair enough. All right, I'm Knock just, just teasing. I'm just teasing yeah. about Frank's driving. Yeah, very good. What's going on, Lauren? Music Fest is going yeah, on. Yeah, I know. I've been hearing Jessica singing throughout the morning show. I'm an Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love to see them. I love those guys. I'm excited. It's going to be a yeah. great week. There's Lizzo's coming on Friday. Look at that. I am so excited Slicky, for that. Slicky Rick. What's his name? Slicky Rick? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, no. You know, I love the heat. I really am a big fan of this weather. But meteorologist Catherine Bodak, not so much. I Let's know. head over to her. <laughs> Lots of questions unanswered. Yeah. Well, of course, as those details and answers come in from police, we will bring them to you. But right now, we're going to check in with the grandmother. We spoke with her earlier. Here's what she had to say. Good morning. Welcome to Fox 19. Now, beautiful skies in Cincinnati. It was a little bit chilly when I woke up this morning to get to my car, but shaping up to be a nice day. We'll send it over to Catherine Bodak. How's it looking out there? You know, it happening today the walk for wishes at Coney Island hoping to raise money for kids with critical illnesses Fox 19 now Sarah Selly is live there one of the suspects accused of killing eight members of the Roden family in Pike County three years ago now asking a judge to let him go into solitary confinement so we can read the Bible right now Sheriff Reader is in court as of three minutes ago the investigation into the cause is going to be well really interesting. We're going to be working here in the studio in the newsroom as well to find out where that little girl was taken to now. You know, she might be taken to a hospital to check her out mm -hmm. um, as well as where things move forward. But I know that when this broke in the newsroom, we all were watching with our jaws dropped uh, and definitely uh, getting chills ourselves. So I can only imagine what Allison and everyone there, the family is experiencing. I'm sure it's very intense. Yeah. Right now, New Zealand police are investigating a deadly terror attack. 49 people are dead, dozens in the hospital after a shooting at two mosques. A busy weekend in sports from the final four to FC Cincinnati, the Reds. Betsy Ross has your sports extra right ahead. Welcome back. Big weekend in sports. Mm -hmm. Betsy Ross is here this morning. You know, I love, I've been in Cincinnati for a year now. Yeah. I love the sports scene here. It is always changing and it's always busy. I it's mean, awesome. no matter what the season is, there's always something to talk about. You know, you might not know the Alliance of American Football died this week. See? I'm not. <laughs> See, I'm learning. I'm learning. How much does that impact FC? You know, there it's the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. Is, do you think we're really going to see it, an impact without him on the field? Well, Reds fans here, so you hear that? Don't panic yet. Don't panic yet. Betsy, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate having you. Is this the same <laughs> man? Like, do we know if, if it's her husband? <laughs> right. like, do they it's love each other? I like, I don't know. That's what I'm interested in. Where's Are the they dad? Bring, she... Yeah. I mean, is this different men? Different, you know? different giraffe men. How is this going I, down? Is it the same father? I don't. Right. 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 Now, the Senate expected to vote today on a bill that would block Trump's national emergency declaration. You remember, President Trump has said there's a national emergency at the U.S.-Mexico border demanding that a wall be built there. This morning, he tweeted this, saying he's ready to veto if necessary. President Trump declared that national emergency at the U.S.-Mexico border last month. The House already smacked down the president's proposal of try to go on after dinner walks. That's what we try to do. Walk the dog after dinner. So yeah, a little evening. Walk the dog, walk the cat, walk the whatever you got. Walk the cat. Hey, you people walk their cats. Tell him Twitter. Twitter, where are you at? Tell him people walk their cats. Walk their cat. I'm not judging. I've no, seen I'm not it. Judging. I'm just no, we're not judging here. Coffee talk doesn't judge. Good morning live look outside. Check out that skyline. Gosh, it's a beautiful day. It's really a holiday here in Cincinnati for Reds opening day as they take on the Pirates. But you can see the sun is shining. Forecast looking pretty good for Reds opening day. That's the good news here. Lots of stuff going on. We got continuing coverage of that big story, that missing boy. Mm -hmm. Such a huge deal. 
uh, lots, lots of stuff to cover. Uh, and we've also got weather to talk about, and we've also got two hours to go here. Two hours to go. And, and I'm wearing got... double duty. I'm also doing traffic. So we got some traffic stuff to talk to you about, too. And Carrie Perry's going to be here. You know, I've never had her dessert, so I'm excited to try uh, those. She's here, so we've got the ball, and we've got a, a penny that's roughly about a foot in front of the golf ball. And if we're going to really lower okay. our scores, we're going to try to uh, get the ball in the hole, obviously, with as few strokes as possible. So let's try to set up here so we can roll this golf ball right over this penny and into the hole there. Can you guys see this penny? This is, this is, uh, this is going to be hard. You can okay. do it. Wait, the whole, so you said move the whole yep. triangle. And remember, we talked about this triangle the with your arms triangle. and your shoulders. Let's try to get it rolling right over the penny, and you're good. Okay. Oh my Perfect. gosh! You did it. Hey! Good job. See, I it's a lot penny. of fun. I was more focused on the penny than the, <laughs> than the, hole. Than the end goal there. That's so good. That's, <laughs> yeah, you did a good job. Have See, it's fun. Have you seen the, the golfers that go like, Ugh. I'm thinking of Happy Gilmore right now. Yeah, there's now. lots of different ways to get it done. <laughs> we can try the Happy Gilmore method. That works. Sometimes that's fun. Norwood's mayor has 10 days to respond to a resolution passed by city council during an emergency meeting last night. This resolution stops the mayor from spending beyond the city's financial recovery plan. Well, it's officially spring, but over in Newport, some people are celebrating winter. Our Sarah Selly is on Monmouth Street. Sarah, it's the first ever winter carnival. What's going on? <laughs> It's a long road to recovery following that deadly flooding across the Midwest. Now residents are working to pick up the pieces. What the governor is doing to get them the help that they need. Plus, a California dad has seconds to think before this happens. How he saved his daughter from a hit and run driver. But developing now, the Warren County Jail is working to contain a hepatitis A outbreak. This week, some inmates reported flu-like symptoms and tested positive for the virus. Several inmates have been moved to isolated areas to keep it from spreading. A spokesperson for the jail released a statement saying they're working with the local health department and following CDC guidelines. They are offering Hep A vaccinations to those who want it. Cincinnati police have just released this video showing a man accused of groping an employee at Children's Hospital. Happening today, two Pike County grandmothers charged in connection to the killings of eight members of the Roden family are due back in court. Lawyers for Frederica Wagner have asked that the judge drop all the charges. Pike County Prosecutor Rob Junk has responded with a request for a gag order on Wagner. We'll have a crew in the courtroom and we'll have an update for you here on Fox 19 now and on our mobile news app. A seven year old Dayton, Kentucky boy now has his bike back after it was allegedly stolen from his family's backyard. We told you about this Wednesday. The family says someone who saw our story called in a tip to Dayton police and now the bike has been returned. Just some background, Moeller was looking into the possible Russian interference in the 2016 election. GOP members calling the investigation a waste of time and taxpayer dollars. Top Democrats asking for transparency, wanting that report to be made public. We'll be right here all morning long following breaking news for you and bringing you the latest information right here on the Morning Extra and of course on our website all the time at fox19now.com. Welcome back. Facebook, back in the news. Lots of dislikes for Facebook this morning at the center of the controversy. The show's social media giant's privacy policy now under fire. No snow, so uh, that's pretty good unless you wanted a white Christmas, but you will see a little bit of rainfall.